The 2013 stock car season kicks off today right here on Speed. Lucas Oil 200 for the ARCA Racing Series. And a veteran in this field has 76 wins, but never at Daytona. Yes, that's Frank Kimmel looking for his first Daytona win. How about some of the youth in this series? Kyle Larson, he's starting to make a name for himself in stock car racing. He will pilot one of the fastest cars we've seen this weekend. Daryl Wallace driving for Venturini Motorsports, getting a little advice from Kyle Busch before the green flag drops. It'll be John West Townley who'll bring the field to the green flag. He wins the poll here at Daytona. Little overcast skies as the temperature dips to 63 degrees and continues to go down. The wind picking up 16 miles per hour here near the beach. Hello everyone, Rick Allen, Phil Parsons with you once again. This is the 50th ARCA race at Daytona. A big milestone that we've reached here. Now a lot of young drivers normally kind of make a name for themselves in this series and we've got quite a few of them in this field. Rick, we do. Everybody that grows up wanting to be a race car driver wants to race at Daytona. I did and I got my opportunity about 30 years ago. We've got a guy like Drew Charlson though that came here as one of those rookies last year end up with a second place finish. Half our field today will be first time starters here at Daytona. Can a rookie win? He can win here, but to do that, he's going to have to beat a guy that's won here eight times, Bobby Gerhardt. Here he is last year. This is about lap number 10. He comes in for a splash of fuel. He never came back to pit road. He was on the racetrack. Last restart, Alex Bowman runs out of gas. Coming off turn four, and McReynolds runs out of gas. Bobby Gerhardt was running fifth. He ends up in victory lane for the eighth time. you got to beat him to win this race. But Venturini Motorsports with four strong cars has the best chance. And Venturini Motorsports has never won at this racetrack. Now, when we talk strategy and pit strategy, when you come to Daytona, normally you'd say, well, what's the fuel window? But Gerhardt has really thrown that out the window as far as will you wait until you are almost out of fuel? Yeah, normally we say, okay, what's a pit window? 60 laps, something like that. Here, the pit window is any time you can get in your window. The, <laughs> most of the talk in the garage area is we're going to go about 10 laps. If the caution comes out any time around 10 laps, they're all going to come to pit road, and that may be the last time we see him on pit road. Now, Kyle Larson, we saw him just in the open, a young driver who had over 100 starts in racing a year ago, really getting his feet underneath him now in the stock car world. Yeah, he's, he's so talented. He, he won the, the four crown this year at Eldora, won sprints, midgets, silver crown, all on the same night. We saw him race last year. He's going to make full time into the Nationwide Series this year, and he's going to get a super sp speedway start right here at Daytona. One of the more interesting and exciting young drivers our eye on. The drivers, and it's time to hear our command. We go trackside. Race fans, it is time deliver the most famous words in motorsports please welcome your grand marshal vice president of commercial sales for dish network bob grows drivers start your engines <laughs> cars come to life. We talked about Venerini Motorsports being strong. Are the front row. John West Townley and Green Flag next. Coverage of the Arca Racing Series on Speed is brought to you by Lucas Oil, the world leader of high-performance lubricants and problem-solving additives for everyday cars and trucks. And by Menard, save big money on all your home improvement needs. Welcome back to Daytona International Speedway. About the 50th annual ARCA race, and it's the Lucas Oil 200 at Daytona. The field working their way around the two and a half mile super speedway. Talked about John West Townley bringing the field to the green flag. He won the Menards Pole Award presented by Ansel yesterday. John West Townley posting the best mark and it's been a long time since a Venturini car has been on the pole here at Daytona, Phil. Yeah, and that was Big Bill, the, the team owner, and he ran over 200 miles an hour back in the 80s. Back in 1987, Big Bill posted the fastest qualifying mark here at Daytona. Your starting grid will roll across the top of the screen. Again, John West Townley and Milka Duna making up row number one. We'll ride along with a few different drivers. We'll carry cameras for us, one of those being the 23 of Spencer Gallagher in the Alliant 
or Allegiant Air Chevrolet. He starts 32nd. We're also going to ride along with the number 42 of Bo Lamastis, and he's going to have a special set of eyes up on top of the score. I mean, the spotter stand here. Jeff Bo 1986 Daytona 500 winner will be. And Bo will start his Crosley Radio Dodge. Spot. Also carrying one of our cameras, Sean Poor, in the number 82. He starts 18th in the Warriors in the workplace Ford. We're also going to ride along in the 25 car of Justin Boston, and he will be full time this year for Benderini Motorsports in the Z Loop electric recycling Toyota give you some great pictures from inside these cars a different perspective that you'll be also carrying one of our cars of Ricky Earth in the Sandvik Corp. one power services chef in the seventh position this year Scott taking over the rookie challenge program for the Arca Racing Series. Some pretty impressive names that have won this honor in the past. Benny Parsons, your brother, back in 1965. And he finished third in this Daytona race back in 1965 in his rookie year. How about those names on there? Davey Allison, Bobby Gerhardt, Frank Kimmel, Parker Kligerman. Big names in the Arca Racing Series. How about the guys who are eligible for the team prize of the Scott Rookie Award, and that's Ricky Ergot, Justin Boston, Bo Lamastis, Mason Mingus, Mason Mitchell, and Chad Bo will be names that we will keep our eye on throughout the 2013 season. Two of the best in the business working pit road tonight. We go down to Ray Dunlap. Hey, Rick, one thing to think about is how fast these young rookies really can be. The fastest qualified car behind the wheel is Darrell Wallace Jr. A young Joe Gibbs racing development driver in this white number 55 machine. He is here as the third Venturini car to start in the first two rows. This car has been proven, been fast. This team's proven to put youngsters in victory lane. How important is approval by NASCAR to run the truck series this year? He has to run laps here today. How important is it for this young man to prove himself to Joe Gibbs and J.D. Gibbs? They were down here giving him last minute thoughts right before he climbed in this machine. So he has a lot to prove yet. Really nothing to lose. He's going for the win here today, Ray, and he's one of the young drivers we'll keep an eye on. Ray Dunlap? Well, Jim, later the proof will be in the pudding. We'll find out what race car is right here in Victory Lane at Daytona. And each and every year I walk through the garage and I pick out my favorite. Over the last couple of years, I thought for sure Dario Franchitti was going to win at Daytona. He didn't do it. David Reagan didn't do it. Ty Dillon didn't do it. And last year, Brandon McReynolds didn't do it. So my favorite picks aren't always a great one. But I have to tell you this, I believe the four car of Kyle Larson is one to watch today. Not just because everybody believes he's a great Great driver. They've got a Hendrick engine, a great car from Turner Motorsports, and I'm telling you, that car is going to be fast, even though it didn't qualify well. But what do I know? Whoever I pick never wins, because Bobby Gerhardt always does. You might want to pick Bobby Gerhardt this week, this year. Let's see if we can talk to Bobby Gerhardt. Hey, Bobby Gerhardt, Phil Parsons up in the Arca booth, speed booth. Can you hear? Can you hear me? Ten four, Phil, loud and clear. All right, buddy. You've won this thing eight times, and you've done it different ways. How are you going to win number nine today? What's your strategy? Like we talked earlier, and, uh, you just got to play this thing like a little bit of a chess game. And, uh, you know, we've got a, a few aces, I believe, up our sleeves. And, uh, but no matter who wins this thing, Phil, it's going to have to come with a break. Uh, the race is going to have to come to me at some degree. But uh, I guess we're just uh, going to have to look as uh, team's going to take it. All right, buddy, great job out there all these years, and uh, let's see if you can make it number nine. It's been my pleasure. What a ride. Uh, just want to thank all the fans come out to see us, you know, over all my 25-year career and uh, 50 years of ARCA. And uh, certainly a shout-out to everybody in TV land, and uh, hope we will keep everybody on the edge of their seat, Bill. All right, thanks, Bobby. Well, they'll definitely be on the edge of their seat. How about Bobby Gerhardt? This car actually has won here the past two years it, it very impressive right yeah what about his backup phil it won in 2010. <laughs> <laughs> so two cars that bobby gerhardt brought to daytona account for three wins the last three wins at this racetrack and you know we go to talladega which is very similar probably more similar now to daytona now that they both have been repaved he will not take this car to talladega right he keeps this car right here for daytona so bobby gerhardt obviously has to be one of the favorites, if not the favorite, for today's race. 50th anniversary race here at Daytona. The first race way back in February 8, 1964. Nelson Stacy.
Got the checkered flag at that one. And of course, we've just talked to the man who has the most wins, really the most wins at this racetrack of anyone. Uh, he's won eight wins. He even outdid the King, who had seven wins here in the Daytona 500. I know my brother Benny won him back in 1969, his second championship season. And I know what a big moment that was for him and, and our family for, to get to victory lane here in Daytona. And then he backed it up a few years later with a Daytona 500 win. Previous winners from Daytona being honored here. See Andy Hillenberg right in the middle of that group. And of course, some young drivers. Kyle Bush has won here. Ryan Newman has won here. Yeah, there's Michael Annette there. I left you for screen. He's won here, made his move up to the nationwide series. There's Jimmy Horton. And the notable winners at this racetrack, Mike Wallace. We talked about a few of the others. Michael Annette and James Busher have been the only two that have been able to win this race in the last eight years that haven't been named Gerhardt. <laughs>